Hey guys, uh, Paradude here, and I'm going to do another video on my backbone bar. And I just got these uh, new adjustable shackles here, and I'm going to make it with this and show you guys how I use it. The uh, the cool thing about it though is you can unscrew it, and you have you can see these holes right here, different places to adjust. So the paracord would go through one of the holes, and then you essentially have three places where you can adjust, you know, tighter, 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 or looser, looser, looser on it as well too. So, um, again, you know, the, the quick release bracelets are cool, I think, that I make. There's no substitution for just being able to carry 30 feet of paracord in your pocket. I mean, that really is the quickest way. But I will show you guys how to utilize this. And I've been having a lot of questions on, you know, how I make the backbone bar because that's what I do with my, uh, my wallet. I use gutted paracord to make the backbone bars. So hopefully this will uh, answer both questions, you know, how I'm going to use this for uh, the bracelet I'm going to make and then also how to uh, make the backbone bar for... Uh, the wallet as well too. So I'll be back in a second and set everything up. Alright guys, so here's the next step. I have uh, taken 15 feet of OD Green paracord and I ran the cord through the first notch here and I have my anchor shackle actually attached to um, the strap of my backpack right now for some weight. Uh, it, this starts off the exact same way as I do the uh, quick deploy uh, blaze bar. So you need to take your cord and you need to make two loops just like this and the loops this length of cord is going to be the desired length of your bracelet and I have a seven inch wrist and with the adjustment part um, you know you'll have a little bit of a play here but you make your two loops so you guys can see right here these two and you're going to take your left strand and it's going to wrap around all the cords you guys can see right here so this strand is wrapping around all the cords and then now you're left with this. So now this left strand goes over these two, this left loop right here, under the right loop. The right strand under, over, under, then through the loop right here. Pull it all the way through, bring this up to the top and pull tight. So this is what you're starting with right here. This is the beginning of the blaze bar. See I got my two loops because these are the loops that are going to pull through when you need the cord right here. And I'll be back in a second and I'll explain the backbone bar part. Alright so I just took the shackle off of my uh, spot here on my backpack where I was uh, holding it in place and here's what I have right here. This is the start. And I'm going to turn the whole thing upside down so I have my loops right here sitting at the top. Okay? So I got my right loop and I got my left loop. So now all the backbone bar is is a series of um, slip knots. Making a slip knot with the right strand, a slip knot with the left strand, and then putting the slip knot over both of these loops in the middle. So I'm going to start on the right. You're going to make a loop. So the running end is facing to the right. You can see the loop there goes around and behind. Stick the cord through. I'm just going to pull it tight. So right here. Now take this loop, stick the two middle strands through, and tighten. There's your first stitch. Tighten it down, push down, pull it. Okay, same thing on the left side. Make the left loop. Right here. So the left strand is going out to the left. You can see the loop, same thing, it goes over and the strand is behind. Go through the hole and tighten it down. There you go. So there's your next slip knot. Take your two loops, the core, put it through, tighten down. So you guys can see, starting to make all it is, is these loops right here. I'm going to do the same thing again. We're on the right side. Make your loop through the hole, tighten down. There we 
you go. Take your biddle through. Pull tight. Left side. Make your loop. Go through. Tighten down. Right here. And again, your core right here goes through. Tighten down. So you guys can start to see the pattern here. Back and forth, and they're just these slip knots are just stacking one on top of the other, one on top of the other. So let me do it one more time. Make the loop on the right, goes through, and tighten it down. Oops. Trickiest part of this is just getting the slip knot to stay close, you know, so they la overlap on top of each other with not a lot of space. Then again, take your core, put it through, tighten it down. And one more time on the left side, make your loop, go through, and tighten it down. You can see my fingers are kind of like tightening it down and turning it a little bit so it stays uh, close to this side. Right here, you got your two cores, put them both through, and pull tight. Cinch it down. Good. And you can see here's the pattern that's starting right from here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this till we get to the end, and then I'll explain what I'm doing and uh, how it's going to be the quick release. So we'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so here's the last step. This is the bar, the backbone bar. It's got a nice look, a little wider than a uh, like a Solomon or a Cobra stitch bar. But we're at the uh, last couple stitches here. Here's our core, our two inner strands. And for the last part, we're going to take and unscrew this pin. There you go. And now we're going to put the anchor shackle through the two core loops. And I'm just going to put the pin back in so it stays in place. There we go. All right, so feed the anchor shackle along with the two loops. Tighten down. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. <laughs> right here. So I want the left, the uh, right loop. Put it around the anchor shackle and the two inner cores. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And tighten down. And there's a little play here, so I can probably do another loop. Now you don't want to over tighten this because you won't be able to get the shackle off. And that's part of uh, the quick deploying method here. Let's do another one around. Tighten this down. Good. And actually, it looks like we can get another loop on there. It's through. Tighten down. There we go. All right, so now it's completed. Now at this point, I would cut um, the right strand and just melt it into this uh, knot here, and then cut the left strand, melt it in, so it would just look like this, essentially. And then when you're going to wear your, the bracelet, of course, this adjuster part goes through and screws in just like this. So there's your there's your bracelet, just like this here. And you can see, I have like one of the completed ones is my watch band, and I have one of my uh, other bands here. All right, so at this part point, we are uh, ready to deploy the bracelet. So again, all I would do is unscrew the pin here. Okay. Now, on the shackle part, you're just going to want to take this off the two loops because you won't need that anymore. And then you're left with the two loops, as you guys can see right here. I'm going to take the pin and place it 
through one of the holes, really doesn't matter which one, but I can use my fingers now to grab. I have a little grip right here, and I'm just gonna start at the top, and I'm gonna pull, as you guys can see right here, all the way through. Now, here you're left with all the slip knots. There's one cord, and there's the next cord. So now, I can just pull, all the knots come undone. Whoa, there we go. You can see, here's all the cord. You're left with the pin right here. Take that off, and then you just feed the cord right through this. So there you have it, another way to make something that's quick releasing. Uh, can store a decent amount of cord, more than a Solomon bar in my opinion. And there it all is. Um, again, if you guys want to reference, this is the backbone bar um, from JD at tying all together. I did not create um, this knot, but uh, he did, and I just am using it for more of a quick deploy uh, methodology here. And uh, again, you can use this video as a reference if you guys want something else for the backbone bar. Um, please subscribe to me. Um, thanks all of you guys who have, and uh, keep watching. If you have any questions, feel free to question me or message me on YouTube. Thank you.